What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Hut Warriors. Today, we have two games to play and hopefully some upgrades for the players. If you guys missed the last episode, we added Team of the Year, Marie Philip Poulin. I got in a Jumbo Premium Pack. And we also added uh, Rako Gudas, 86 overall, that we got in a reroll. Now, to start off this episode today, we're going to be adding an X Factor. I'm actually very excited for this. Now, I'm going to go through everyone's stats and let you know who's close and everything, but I'll tell you right now, McDavid is one point away from becoming an 88 overall. This first line is about to be disgusting. We have an X Factor Choice Pack. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. I think the team is starting to look pretty damn good, but we got this X Factor Choice Pack. Traded in 50 players. Let's see what we get, see if we add anyone good, and then we'll get into a couple games and try and upgrade the team a little bit more as we start out here in Division 3 with our very first game. Card number one! <laughs> Of course, it's Connor McDavid. Can't pull him on any other account, but I get him on this account. Connor McDavid, 79 overall. Of course, we are not going to take him. Card number two. We get David Posternock. Definitely somebody we could add at 76 overall. And last but not least, we are going to get hopefully a defenseman. No. Oh, yes. John Carlson. Guess what? We already have him. So we, by default, we have to take David Posternock. Um, welcome to the team. We're going to go ahead and write him down. And then what's going to happen here is when he gets his first point, he'll go up one. And then uh, every 10 points, he's going to go up. So he is a nice addition to the team. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at where he's going to fit in. Well, we go through and this could be the end of Matt Luff. Not getting a lot of playing time. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard for him. You know, it's going to be hard for him. Oh, this is tough to get rid of Luff, but we got to do it to add in David Posternock. I'm sorry to see you go. And he'll probably not be playing on the fourth line. For Pasta. We'll probably put him on a line with Matthews and Couturier. Try and get him some playing time just so that way uh, he has a chance of going up. You know what I mean? And Robert Thomas can play with Norris and Vrana. Sucks, but it's what we have to do to improve the team. Now, Wayne Gretzky is two points away from becoming an 89 overall. Uh, we could leave him as the LA King. I, I don't think we're going to upgrade him to the uh, Edmonton one. I do think the Edmonton one's a better player, but we're just going to leave it. Like, it's, it's really not the end of the world as an LA King, but he will move up to 89 when he gets two more points. Like I said earlier, McDavid needs one point. Panarin needs eight points. So it's going to be a little bit before we can get this first line fully stacked, but it's looking pretty good. Kane is nine points away from his next one. Matthews only needs one for his next upgrade. Of course, Pasta, he needs one point to get his first upgrade, 10 for his next actual upgrade. You know what I mean? It sounds better in my head. When he gets his first point, he gets his first upgrade, then it's every 10 points or hat trick or four point games. Last but not least, of course, we have John Carlson, who, of course, we had a duplicate in. He's not doing too bad here. He's uh, three points away from his next upgrade. And when he gets that, he becomes an 85. It's a big upgrade for him. So let's see if we can make that happen as well. Guys, let's go ahead and get into our very first game here in Division 3. I just realized new division means new win streak rewards. We'll get a premium pack and a mini pack. I think it was a base pack before. So it is an improvement. It's something. Of course, if we win both games here today, this is what we're going to get rewarded with. A premium pack and a mini pack. Is it phenomenal? No, but hey, it's it's something. Normal rules apply, by the way. If we win a game, we get a silver reroll. If we win a game by three or more, or they rage quit, we get a gold reroll. And of course, Igor Shosturkin, somebody I did not mention earlier, also one of our X-Factors. Well, he is eight wins away from his next upgrade, or if he gets a shutout, he gets an upgrade as well. Okay, we have a game. We're going up against Little Hop 51. He's got McCarr, McKinnon, and Ovi. None of them maxed out, but it doesn't mean that he's a bad player or he has a bad team. Let's take a look at it at the end of the first period here, but I'm going to need some luck. All right, here we go. He wins the opening faceoff, and Ovi brings it out, but Ghouli picks it up. I would love to get another upgrade for Ghouli. This is this is like the one player that uh, we're, we're kind of messing around with. He's the only one getting like custom upgrades. No one else is getting this treatment, and I would love to get another card. So if Ghouli has another card out there, I don't know, man. Maybe that's something we should look into. Ghouli with a great poke there on line A. And here comes Carlson. He's a few points away from a big upgrade. In fact, he's in. He shoots and scores. John Carlson makes it one nothing. It's a big point for him. He is now two points away from his next upgrade. And that next upgrade is a big one. A great goal from Carlson gives us the lead. Kane gets through. Couldn't get to the goalie there, but guy's not really too aggressive on defense and... We may have a chance to walk in on him a few times. This could be good. Austin Matthews brings it out shorthanded here and gets run over. Here comes Connor the other way. Uh-oh. Barzell, good poke, but McDavid gets it back. Play the pass. 
It doesn't matter that we played the pass. It's still a goal. <laughs> Matthew Parcell buries it. I don't know if I could have been any more on top of him, but it doesn't matter. It is a tie game. Oh, Poulin's got a step. And she should fly by everyone. And she scores. It is a 2-1 game. Marie Philippe Poulin buries it. This is going to be a fun card to use for the rest of the series. Absolutely excited to see the rest. Patrick Kane picks up a point. All right, Verano, what do you have? He's going to cut in. Go to the backhand. Oh, my. Couldn't get it past the goalie. Not sure who it is in net. It doesn't look like this is going to be a Markstrom. But that was a great opportunity to go up by two late here in the first, and we couldn't bury it. Panarin with the puck. McDavid's all alone, but I couldn't feed it to him. He needs one point. That would have been huge. Tavares the other way. To Marchand. Four seconds left. And somehow that pass gets through. 2-2 two -two game. Three seconds to go here in the first period. We got to start intercepting these passes. It's not like we're not in position. It's literally just going right through us. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the first period. We're tied at two in a game I don't think we should be tied in. Uh, at least one of those goals should have been saved by us, in my opinion. We got to block these passes. And if we're not going to do it, uh, if I can't do it manually, I don't know if I'm just going to let the AI do it or what. But I don't know, man. I, I want to take a look at this guy's team. I know he do doesn't have some crazy squad. I know he's got a lot of base cards and whatnot. The goalie is Martin Jones at 84. I want to see that first goal and how the hell that one went through. I don't have a lot of time. Let's see here. I, I guess, yeah, I mean, he could have definitely gotten that. Shifley here. I don't really have time again. But again, that's something where, like, all you have to do is turn a little bit and you block that pass. Behind the net stuff, starting to get old. He's going to have a big lead in TOA after this period. He's had the puck for quite a while. No shots, though. Maybe one, but uh, not a lot of opportunities. As we score, that one gets through. Apparently, it's the uh, perfect day to force the puck through seven people. I shouldn't have scored that. I'm going to take the goal, though. I'm not upset. And there's the point for Connor McDavid. He's got a big upgrade incoming. Behind the net, behind the net, behind the net. It's already starting. We're only in D3, and it's starting already. Get there. Come on. Nice poke by Gooley. And another great poke by Gooley. Man, I really just like Caden Gooley this year. I don't know what it is. He's, he's like the Tim Heat of 2023. If you guys don't know that reference, it's from Hut Warriors a couple years ago. It, I'm sorry for anyone new, but hey, for the people who've been watching Hut Warriors for a long time, you're going to appreciate that. All right, that puck's going to get out. Three seconds to go. Uh, Katria could have had a good chance there, but we're going to run out of time. So you take a one-goal lead into the second period. Here are your stats. Again, TOA in his favor, but I mean, if you're just going to sit behind the net and skate straight into the boards, you're not going to achieve too much here. We're doing very well on defense, as long as we can stop these passes from getting through. Now, he's got an okay team. I would argue that he still has a better team than us, but it's not by much. And he's got a he's not a bad player. Like, I'm not going to sit here. I just don't like his style, right? I don't like the sit behind the net, go for wraps, and skate towards the boards trying to get you to uh, make a mistake on defense. Especially when you have the lead. Like, I'm not going to chase you. Go, Panarin. You got Gretzky with you. Just going to run out of room there, unfortunately. Panarin's a little bit quicker there, and we can turn that into a full-blown two-on-one, but just didn't happen. Gooley with another great poke there, stopping McKinnon. Guys, I'm telling you, Caden Gooley is just good. Like, I love his card. There's something about it. I wish I was able to get that, um, the, the rookie or, or the prospect card or whatever it was, the fantasy card, because that would have been a perfect addition to the team. Kane, get out of the net. What are you doing? Could have set him up there. Kucherov scores. There we go. It doesn't matter. We score anyways. You're in the third period up by two. Nikita Kucherov from no one, apparently. Good poke by Pasta, and he's in. This is huge. He scores. Perfect. David Pasternak. He gets his goal. That's an automatic upgrade for his first point as a warrior. And it gives us a three-goal lead, meaning that we could get that gold reroll and get a guaranteed 80 or better in that pack. This is huge. Oh, my goodness. I got a stick on it. I want to point out, we're only up by two now. I got a stick on that, and it still got through. Connor McDavid makes it a two-goal game. That was just poor defense. I did end up, like, touching it with my stick. It wasn't enough. That was poor defense. That's on me. All right. No, that's not good. All right. 
I was so happy for like two minutes there. <laughs> and just like that, it's a one goal game yet again. Kaprizov made me look silly. And I can't stop Connor McDavid. We had a three goal lead about five minutes ago. Maybe less than that. Oh boy. This is not good. I'm calling a timeout. Three goals in a matter of no time, really. Let, let's see. Yeah, three goals in three minutes and 40 seconds. That is terrible. Poulant takes over. Oh my god. I guess that's the, uh, the perk of having a team of the year on your squad. She absolutely dominated the offensive zone and then throws it home to give us that one goal lead back. Go Gretzky. End this game. Come on. A little toe drag to end it off. We're up by two. Now the question is, can we get one more with 34 seconds left to get the gold reroll? I don't think it's going to happen. 34 seconds and we need to play strong defense to make sure he doesn't score two here. But I will try so we have a big lead. Oh, well, McDavid's streaking. Try and get Panarin to Gretzky. Oh, man, what a chance. He kind of whiffed on the shot. That would be our last opportunity to get that three-goal win. Just don't let him score again. Like, just end the game. Who cares? Well, Gretzky has a chance, maybe. Three seconds. No, I don't think so. That one actually almost snuck through, believe it or not. But we do get the victory. And with seven goals in the game, a lot of players getting points. We get a grand total of 13 points for the victory. Let's see who did what. All right, Patty Kane, two assists, things you love to see happening. He is now seven points away from an upgrade. Gretzky had two goals. He's getting an upgrade. Up to an 89 goes Wayne Gretzky as he hit point number 25. Carlson did have a goal there, putting him two points away from an upgrade. Connor McDavid with that assist gives him 10. That is another upgrade. That's a big upgrade as well. David Posternock, of course, had his first. Let's go. And Artemi Panarin with an assist. So that gets him a little bit closer to his next one as well. Igor with the W. I know it's not too much to, to say here, but awesome. And, and then Matthews with nothing. Could have used that point, buddy. Realistically, I think he deserved an assist, but it is what it is. Let's go open up our pack and do our upgrades. Now, I apologize. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I am dealing with a sore throat. So... I'm uh, doing my best here and trying to be energetic and have a good time and keep my uh, my voice throwing through the video. I'm going to do my best. I apologize in advance if it ends up uh, wavering, but I'll uh, I'll try to keep it going here. Well, we get a silver reroll for that victory. Uh, let's open up this one. Cool. See if we get anything. If not, no big deal. We can add anyone we want to the team. We get uh, Daniela Peshova. Didn't say her name right. And we also get Chris Terry. So nobody being added. However, we get an upgrade for Gretzky, an upgrade for McDavid, and an upgrade for David Posternock. This is a big one. All right, Gretzky, there you go. 89 overall. Congratulations. And now, Connor McDavid. We don't have to use any coins or power-ups. We have his base card, and he's going to go all the way to an 88 because of his base card. This is awesome. A great upgrade for the team. 95 acceleration, 95 speed. And then David Posternock down here on the third line gets his first point, his first goal. And he gets a, a plus three. I'm not complaining with that at all, up to a 79 overall. Well, Gretzky needs 25 more points to get his next upgrade. Everyone else working between 10 points there, except for Carlson, who needs every five. We'll see if we can get Carlson two more points and get him that next upgrade. That's a big one as well. All right, we have our next game. He's got 87 Marner, 89 Niederreiter, and 90 right. It's Iced LePage. All right, puck drop is here. He's got the Cal Addison out there. There's Shane Wright, 90 overall. Wonder if it's the uh, Spitfire version, or it could just be the uh, Winter National or whatever it was, the Nations of Hockey event version, but I'd like to see the Spitfire version, if I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'd like to see that. Big save, I, I guess. What is happening with the puck? And I'm not going to be able to shut him down there, yeah. We were all over the place. Mitch Marner makes it one nothing. I don't even know if he made the initial save, but that was a, a disaster of a play in general. Go, Palant. She's in. She cannot bury the toe drag. Interesting. Would have been nice to tie the game there. She still has it. She gets bumped, but she's still on her feet. She then knocks over Cal Addison. Oh, well, these cards might be a little too OP. Kucherov scores on the backhand. There we go. 
Nice pass there by Poulin to get it to him. And we have a tie game here. We're still pretty early in the first period. Good job by Matthews keeping that puck in. Gets it to Pasta. Pasta walks in on the backhand and scores! Two goals for Pasta in two games, and I believe that point for Matthews will be an upgrade for him. That's a big goal. Gives us the lead here in the first. Good steal by McDavid. And he's got a two-on-one developing. Not sure who it is with him. It's Vrana. He couldn't get that one to go. Another really good opportunity there. Three minutes to go here in the first, and I feel like we're playing pretty well. Speaking of, here comes Norris. In. Alone on the forehand, and he can't score that either. We got to start going to the backhand on this goalie. Whoever it is, whoever's in net, they're good on the forehand. All right, guys, that'll do it for your first period. We're up by one, heading into two, and I feel like we're playing pretty well. I would say majority of chances were in our uh, are in our favor, and I would say shots in TOA even probably in our favor. And yeah, you can see here we're we're playing pretty well here. Let's take a look at this guy's team, especially that goalie. Uh, he's got 87 Marner, 84 Malkin, 86 Crosby. So yeah, again, a, a pretty basic team. Some really good players, some very not so good players, but that's all right. Guy's not a bad player whatsoever here. Let's see. Anyone crazy popping up? Doesn't look like it, eh? They're on an 86. There's that Cal Addison, the free card. Uh, Zegris and 90 right. Not the uh, Spitfire edition. He's got Freddie Anderson in that. Interesting. Well, we're back here for the second period, and we're looking to get some goals Poulette starts out there. I love her card, and I think I want to make her first line because she wins almost every faceoff, and, and that's a huge start to the, to the period and to ev pretty much every play. Like, having that extra faceoff win is huge. So I might make her our first line center, but that means I kind of... Uh, do I, what do I want to do with Gretzky then? You know what I mean? This is tough decision. You guys can help me out with it. Faceoff win. Panarin in on the forehand. I got to remember, don't go to the forehand on this guy. Not that that... Like, we didn't even get a shot off there. Like, don't go to the forehand on him. Make sure you go to the backhand. Seems like uh, it works a little bit better. Try waiting for Pasta there. It's a good opportunity. It's all right. I mean, we're, we're still up by one here. We're playing well. Pasta with the puck again. Spin. Sh couldn't get the shot off. He actually got run over there. Looks like he'll be okay, but I need to get that shot off. It's probably a goal. That behind the net. Goes out front. Trevor Zegers all alone. And he makes it two to two. Damn it. All right, guys, that'll do it for your second period. Tied at two. In a game, I feel like we are playing way better than this guy. We got to start putting the puck in the back of the net. This is a big third. We'll have to Kane. Come on, guys. This has not been an eventful third period so far. If we can get a goal here. It'd be huge. Kane with a little spin move. I don't know what I'm doing with the puck, but that's all right. We still have it. Poulin picks it up. You got a small line out there. And I just realized Kucherov, Kane, and Poulin. Not the biggest line. Maybe you want to switch stuff up there. Poulin with the puck again. She gets bumped. Yeah. Might have to get some bigger players out there. Kane to Poulin. Oh my god. She missed it on the backhand. A huge opportunity wasted. Go Kucherov. Go Kucherov. He's slow. He's tired. And he's going to get caught by Dougie Hamilton. Oh, no. What a save, Igor. Great save. Good ass with a big hit in the corner. Come on. We got to get possession of this puck now. Oh, man. Great poke by Gudas. He's played really well this game. Didn't notice him too much in the first game, but he's been very good here. Unfortunately, we can't get the puck here, and our fourth line is hemmed in. Vrana with a poke. Vrana gets bumped by Dougie Hamilton. Get him out of here. 10 seconds to go. Connor with the puck. We heading to overtime? Is that where this is heading? We're going to go to OT. McDavid, shot. Where's the puck? It's set. Oh, no. Wow, what an opportunity. Holy crap. It was up in the air. We had a chance to knock it home. We didn't, of course. Why would we? But a great opportunity as we head to OT. And I have a confession to make. I don't believe I set my lines. Well, Kane is taking the face off with Poulin next to him. So that's good. That, that's a smart thing to do here. We win the draw anyways. And it's Poulin out there three on three. You know she's going to fly. Let's see what we can do. Find an opening. And that might be it right there. It's going to cut in. No. Get back. Get back. This is all on me. 
Heronic, great D play. Get that Poulain. Thank God. That that would have sucked if I lost it because of that, man. Looking for that opening. Let's just bring it in. That was probably game. But I couldn't bury it. And Aaron again shoots. We got Kachuri out there. Let's get, like, where's McDavid and Gretzky at? Let's get those guys out there. Come on. Gretzky is out there with McDavid and Carlson. Interesting choices. I like it, but we need possession of the puck to make it important. Zegers with it. Good poke by Carlson, but unfortunately we can't get there. Panarin's going to get it back. Come on, get back, guys. Get back. I know I play aggressive here in 3-on-3. Uh, in three three. It usually works out for me. I like the aggressive approach, but this could be too aggressive. Great job by Carlson. Come on, guys. One minute to go here in OT. We definitely have the overall advantage out there. Wouldn't say I have the skill advantage. I think this guy's a pretty good player. Might be a bit better than me, but the overall advantage, we'll see if we can take advantage. Oh no, I couldn't get that poke off. Gotta go for the flying poke, and it works! Oh my god, Yo, Igor ran him over. That's a huge, not really a save. He missed the net because I, I knocked him on his ass, but I'm gonna take it. Veronic to Kane, 14 seconds to go. I don't know, man. If we go to a shootout, I don't really like our chances. I definitely haven't set those lines. Seven seconds. Dougie Hamilton in. That gets poked. He's going to get a shot off here. No, Heronic going to run out of time, and we're headed to a shootout. Your final stats here are definitely in our favor. We have played very well this game. Just cannot solve Freddie Anderson. Let's see what happens here in the shootout. We're starting as the goalie. Oh, boy. I'm going to fake the flying poke here. Yep. Oh, my God. It went through me. I got him with the fake flying poke, and it still went in. Oh, man. That is tough. Who's first? It's Patty Kane. I'm going to go for my patented move here. We'll stop up and then go on the backhand. That goes in every time. So we tie it up, but we should be up by one there. That is frustrating. Come on, Igor. We need this one. That's not even close. That was embarrassing. All right, we need a big goal here. And it's going to be Connor McDavid. If there's somebody that's going to give us a goal, it is Connor on the back. And he got the poke. We're going to lose right here. Oh, man, here comes Gaudreau. Comes in slow. Fake the flying poke. Big save from Igor. We have a chance. I got to go for my move again here. I think he will be expecting it. The backhand, I might go forehand here. Come on, Panarin. Oh my god, he got me with the poke! We lose in a shootout. No reward. We do get the upgrade for, uh, for Austin Matthews, but that is about it. That was a tough loss. Your final stats here. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to complain. We played very well. Uh, it comes down to user error for losing, and that's all on me. I apologize to the team. Carlson had a point. He's one point away from his upgrade. Uh, let's see. Pasta had another goal. Good for him. He's up to two already. Matthews did have that assist. That's an upgrade for Matthews, so we can go ahead and do that. And that is it for the team. Igor with an L. Man, we didn't deserve to lose that game. Well, no pack, unfortunately, but Matthews does go up from an 82 to an 84. So I will take that. That is going to do it for this episode of Hot Warriors, though. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed 10 points for Matthews. Awesome. He's on a line here with uh, David Posternock and Sean Couturier. Let me know if there's anything here you want me to switch up. I feel like we should have won that game. And I'm pretty frustrated. But hey, there's always next episode. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.